problem 10.1-1. The wooden 8-foot tall column has ends that are pin connected. Determine the maximum axial load if the modulus of elasticity is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the third KSI and the normal failure stress is equal to 4.2 KSI. Here's the column. The ends are pin connected. Here is the cross section of the member. It has a cross section of 1.5 inches by 3.5 inches. There are two failure modes that we can consider for this column. The first one is buckling. The second one is material failure as a result of the compressive load that exceeds the material's compressive strength. Euler's equation for critical buckling load is shown for pinned end members. The variables in the equation are modulus of elasticity, which is given in the problem, the length, which is also given in the problem, and I, the moment of inertia, which we need to calculate. And looking at our cross section, there are two principal axes and two different values for moment of inertia, depending on which axis we're going to be buckling about. And as we learned in the lesson, the member will choose to buckle about the weak axis. So that'll be about the vertical axis as I've drawn it. That means the base dimension will be 3.5 inches, the height dimension will be 1.5 inches. We get the moment of inertia value shown. Now let's input all the variables into our critical buckling load equation and solve for the load. Notice that the units on modulus of elasticity are kips per square inch. This matches the units on our moment of inertia, inches to the fourth power, and we need to make sure that the units on our length dimension also match, so they're going to be converted to inches. The unit of force will come out to whatever our unit is for force in our modulus of elasticity units, which are kips, so we get an answer of 1.67 kips. That is the load that will bring this column to buckling. Now, let's consider normal stress failure. Our column is an axially loaded member, so we will use the equation for normal stress equal to P, the internal load, divided by the cross-sectional area. And we can set this equation equal to our failure stress, the area is our cross-sectional area, and solve for P. And we get a value for P equal to 22.1 kips. That is the load that will cause normal stress failure in the member. Obviously, the buckling load controls. So our maximum axial load will be 1.67 kips. And we're done.